I am standing directly under the arch right now. I would say that it is exactly five foot five. So that's how tall this arch is. On today's adventure, I will be going to a super awesome arch in Moab. It's called Tuck Arch. It's short for Tuku Hanovitz. I don't even know how to say it, but it's a super awesome one. The weather is looking absolutely crazy right now. I've got my harness all strapped in and then I have my camera bag strapped in as well. So I'm ready to go. So the arch that I'm going to is right up there. It's super small, but that's called Moab Rim Arch. And then just over here is called Tuck Arch. So I'm going to get on this road, on this dirt road, and then take the freeway and then start going up there. So that's the freeway over there. And then this is where I've pulled up. So this is actually the Behind the Rocks Trail. You can see the sign here for Behind the Rocks. And then we're just going to go up this. So we're right here. And the first obstacle is called Rebel Hill. And then this actually black line takes you to that arch. It is drizzling rain on me right now. And you can see the clouds are looking pretty crazy. But I will take this over 105 degree heat any day. So behind me is called Rebel Hill and this is the hardest obstacle on the trail for today. Overcast and I'm going to get a little bit of rain here soon you can see over there. So we're about four fifths of the way there and that is actually another arch. You can see up there, that's called Moab Rim Arch and it's another super cool spot that you see on the way. So I just arrived right up there. That little rock is Tuck Arch. There's no trail or anything. This is the parking lot. It's not really a parking lot. It's just the end of the road because everything around this is either cliff or wilderness study area. So you can't drive in there. So park in here, I'm gonna go on the hike. Let's go. Here's one of the signs that show you it's from the BLM. This is a wilderness study area. So there's no jeeping, no ATVing, no dirt biking. So there's no motorized vehicles. So there's another one of these signs up here. This one has a bike on it. So yeah, pretty much no wheels. Not in the best shape. So heavy backpack, just going straight up this. I'm already kind of winded. Just walking through these little trees. <laughs> The views are just absolutely stunning. There's the top of it just kind of poking out. Look at this tree. Now I got to go up this and then up there. And we'll be at the arch. So probably about five more minutes. Finally, I made it up here. If you're standing right at the arch. You wouldn't even know it's an arch. I'm standing directly under the arch right now. I would say that it is exactly five foot five. So that's how tall this arch is. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get out my camera and start snapping pictures because this sky is just amazing and there's no rain or anything right now. So we're just gonna wait it out and see what happens. So this is my ZVE-1 and it's got the 70 to 200 and I'm actually gonna swap it out right now and put the 14 1.8 on there for some pictures. So I've got my camera, I've got the 14 mil on there, and I'm gonna just start snapping away photos. So 
So right now you can see it's 714. The sunset will probably be in about an hour. As you come up here, you can see that mountain right there. So that is Mount Tukuhanovitz. I don't know how to say it, but that's Tuck Mountain and that is the LaSalle Mountain. And that's why they call it this arch, because you can actually see it right through. And I'm gonna get my 70 to 200, and I'm gonna zoom in all the way so that I'll get some really, really nice compression. And hopefully that mountain will look like it's right at this arch. It's kind of funny how big this lens is compared to this body. There's no viewfinder or anything. It's definitely a video camera, but it still is great for photos is actually the only camera that I own. The nice thing about this is I can take photos and do stuff like this, and then I can just throw it on my FPV drone. I'm gonna just slide down on my butt. <laughs> so I can get the mountain in there, but unfortunately, I don't know, I just don't like that composition. I think the arch is still too far away. I would need like a 400 or even like a, yeah, probably a 400 to zoom in on that perfectly. So I'm going to try another vantage point that's over there. I'm going to go over to that little thing. I get to walk back up this. Pretty much just scramble, <laughs> holding my camera in one hand and GoPro in the other. I love doing stuff like this though. Ah, I made it. It's always easier walking back up this. Yes, I'm out of breath again. And I forgot my water at the side by side. Rookie mistake. So I've been taking a bunch of photos. Super cool. There wasn't really a good sunset or anything, so. But this is my favorite lens. Sony GM 14 1.8. Sun's going down, I gotta get back so I don't go back in the dark. Thanks for coming on this adventure. Now I'm hiking all the way back down. It's a great little day trip to do. Yeah, I definitely went down the wrong way. So I gotta go back up and around. Moab is seriously the best. We're back at the side by side. So those are the headlights, and then I have these switch panel set up, and then I have my little ladder right there, so we got light to go back. <laughs> <laughs> 